Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will give you messages and guidance from Spirit to help you through your day and on your journey. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians. We have the Magician coming out. We'll see if it comes out in your reading. Their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher self and high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs at the time they view this video. And the Magician is about new beginnings, about manifesting things that are new, having the skills, talents, and abilities to create. Creation is manifestation comes out of creation the ability to create the ability to ideate to have ideas to have dreams to have hope and to harness that energy into belief of manifestation spirit what messages and guidance do you have for pisces at the time they view this video what messages and guidance do you have for pisces at the time they view this video please show them clearly what they need to see Okay, we have a few cards coming out, four cards. The first message is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups, Sixes, Harmony, Cups, emo Emotions, Harmonious Emotions. The Six of Cups also is about memories from childhood or past memories. For me as a reader, this can also be a soulmate card, soul energy, soul path energy. The next card we have is the Emperor, Aries energy, a paternal figure, somebody in a position of leadership, power, authority. It could be you being in your confident energy in your own seat of power. The next card is Temperance, Sagittarius energy, also reflecting the elements of water and earth. As you can see, one foot on the land, one foot in the water, one foot in, one foot out, needing or going through a process of phase change where we go from two different separate substances that complement each other and come out alchemizing into a new form or new substance. The next card we have is the Seven of Wands, standing your ground, standing up for yourself, knowing what you want and standing tall, standing for that. We do see in the Seven of Wands, the person must have been in a hurry to stand and defend their position because they have two mismatched shoes. Now, as I was saying that, I'm hearing two things. One, the two mismatched shoes could be a reflection of two different mindsets or two different types of things that you're standing your ground on. I'm also hearing, when I was hearing that message, um, just before I said it, I was drawn to this other shoe that looks more like a sock. So what we're having here is a shoe, a parent shoe with no sock and a, a parent sock with no shoe. So we see something of an opposite, something that is different. So I'm, I'm, the message I'm getting is standing up for something that is different. You might find that you have a different path. You might find that your preferences, your choices, your alignment is different from your friends, your group, from even what you used to do or who you used to be. We'll continue and see what else we get. What other messages do you, we have for Pisces for this reading? Oops. The next message we have, King of Wands, Masculine Fire Energy, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. The King of Wands is looking to the left. Directionally, that is the direction of the past. So looking upon the past, contemplating the energy, but also looking directly at the Seven of Wands. Let's see what else we get. What other messages for Pisces, please? And then the next, moving on, wow. And moving on, looking at the circumstances, eights are a number of strength. If we look at the major arcana, I believe, if I'm recalling properly, strength is the number eight. So there's power within the number eight. Eight is also, if you turn it on this, its side, the infinity symbol. 
Here we have cups, cups being emotions. So we're seeing coming to a place of strength where you're having the strength, courage, and intuitive knowing. And I say intuitive knowing because this is nighttime with the moon, the moon being a very intuitive energy, also Pisces energy. It's time to move on from something that's unfulfilling. We see standing your ground. We see something from your past. We see decision making, process changing, and we see reflection. And then ultimately we see moving on. Let's get clarity. Spirit, what is the Six of Cups, please? What does Pisces need to know about the Six of Cups? Oops. And we have the Temperance again right away. So we're getting the Temperance. The past has changed you. What we're seeing is in between the present, this is the message I'm getting currently for this particular message. Um, the past represents the past and we're currently in the present. In between then and now, there was a change in alchemy that took place inside of you. What is this emperor, please? What is this emperor? What is this emperor for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the seven of swords. So you are making a plan or you are trying to get out of something that might be controlling you emperor being an energy of control, also authority. But we see you trying to get away because the seven of swords is clarifying the emperor. So it would be this way directionally. We see trying to get out of underneath control, trying to not be controlled by a circumstance, by an organization, by a person. Let's clarify this. Oops, excuse that. Let's clarify the seven of swords, please, spirit. What does Pisces need to know about the Seven of Swords? This is an active, very logical decision that you're making. The Emperor also is non-emotional. It's very clear. It's a very rational energy. You're making a decision to come to a completion. So there is a completion here, a decision, a clarity. Where you were is no longer where you are. And in between then and now, you have elementally changed. You have energetically changed. What is this temperance, please? What is this temperance, please? And we're getting the Ten of Pentacles. So we see you coming to a place that's much more grounded, much more stable. I'm also getting you're more committed to yourself. I'm hearing also that some of you may even have betrayed yourself in the past. And I'm getting that because of the Seven of Swords. When I was saying committed to yourself, I saw the flash in my mind of the Seven of Swords, which is showing in the past you may have betrayed yourself. And, and that may seem like a very harsh, very um, cruel thing to say, but you... Some of you betray yourself by putting other people and other things before yourself. And you were disgenuine and disloyal to yourself. Let's see what this um, Ten of Pentacles is. Very interesting um, energies I'm getting off this card to, these cards today. What is this Ten of Pentacles? What is this Ten of Pentacles? Now, the Ten of Pentacles is also about wealth. It's about establishment. Um material establishment so some of you could have alchemized something into being more profitable more secure more sound yeah so we are seeing that energy reinforced here as a result of what you've gone through pisces you are coming to a place or are currently in a place of increasing confidence security stability and belief in yourself i'm drawn back to the magician card that came out in the pre-shuffle. I won't be surprised if it comes out during the reading, but what I'm getting is without belief in yourself, without confidence in yourself, your manifestations are challenged at best to materialize because of a lack of belief. 
if you have a lack of belief in yourself, a lack of belief in your abilities that echoes or vibrates into lack of belief in your manifestations. And hopefully you can make the bridge on how that would be. What is the seven of wands for Pisces? What is the seven of wands for Pisces? Thank you, two cards. Four of swords and six of pentacles. You're taking a break from giving to other people. Your guard is up. You're standing your ground. You're saying, no, it's about me now. In the past, you gave much. In the past, some of you gave too much. That is what we were talking about when we said some of you were disloyal to yourself. Some of you betray yourself because you overgave, you overfunctioned for other people. Not because it was, not because you were doing anything on purpose, but because your nature, Pisces, is to give. But the problem is sometimes is Pisces can overgive and overfunction, leaving yourself behind and forgetting about yourself, minim minimalizing or marginalizing even what you need, what your needs are, and what your capacity to give is. I need to restate that, what I just said about your capacity to give. You overestimated your capacity to give to other people while you were not giving to yourself. Does that make sense? Because basically you drained all your gas tank and had and gave everybody else the fuel and you had nothing left in reserves. What is this King of Wands for Pisces? Oops, hold on one second. That was a drop in cards. What is this King of Wands for Pisces, please? And we have the Six of Cups. Remember how we mentioned that King of Wands is looking upon the past. And we have literally looking upon the past, looking at what has occurred, looking at past memories, past situations. Let's see what the Six of Cups is since we have it twice. What is the Six of Cups, please? What is the Six of Cups for Pisces? Okay, so I'm getting these in two energies. I'm getting this and I'm getting this separately. So with the sun, this is a contrary message, not contrary message, but um, the sun is a very happy, positive energy and it's pure raw energy. But in this particular situation, we have the king of wands looking upon the past the King of Wands can be someone who's a little bit narcissistic or really narcissistic. It's somebody who's concerned about their own, they're very ego-driven. This King of Wands, I'm feeling, is an energy outside yourself. So it's somebody that's around you, an energy that's around you. They're looking upon the past version of you, and they're finding, quite frankly, that they were happier with the past version of you. The one that overgave the one that overfunctioned because they benefited from that. And now what's happening is they're seeing the ice queen come in because you've had enough and they're, you're putting them in a position of lack because you're not giving to them, you're not overfunctioning for them and quite, quite frankly, you're moving on from them or whatever that energy is. Replace the word them with whatever resonates for you, whatever you're moving on from, whatever you've had enough of that you're no longer giving your energy to. But this right here is a, a very clear statement to me that is saying there's somebody around you. I'm just going to say somebody for the purpose of this, um, for clarity. It, it could be an energy, a situation, an environment. You get what I'm saying. Somebody is looking upon you and preferring the previous version of you because that was very advantageous to you. But you're standing your guard. You got out of it. You got out of the control and put an end to that cycle because there was a manipulation. Somebody was benefiting from the fact that you were not giving to yourself. What is this Eight of Cups, please? Here we are. You're moving on from a manipulation. Let's see what else we get. One more card for this Eight of Cups, please. 
and you're you're reclaiming your energy and you're focusing on your manifestations you're focusing on what you want you're actually doing quite well i i think you're actually doing far better than this king of wands is and they were benefiting from your energy they were be benefiting from your resources your time your intellect your education your money for some of you they were definitely i'm feeling in multiple ways benefiting from your quite frankly sacrifice one more card for this eight of cups one more card for this eight of cups please spirit and you're not, you're just not doing it anymore you're walking away and you're having success you're having power you're a victor you will no longer be a victim of this circumstance. You will be a victor of this circumstance. You are achieving. You are a winner. You are moving forward. Look at the yellow in these cards. This is self-empowerment. You have realized where you were giving your energy to was not serving your highest good. And you're reclaiming that and moving forward. Where are you moving forward to? You're moving towards your nine of cups your true wish fulfillment, the desire of what you really truly want and what is in alignment with you. What is this magician for Pisces? That one and these ones. So, and you probably saw what the cards are already. I'm not even sure because I didn't see them. S sudden unexpected change. This is going to cause a tower in somebody's world. You moving on is going to seem like a tower to these people. Sudden, now the tower and the magician can also be a sudden unexpected manifestation, but it's a sudden change here. And then we have the hermit and the death card. So you know, you know better, and now you're going to do better. You saw the light, you have the light, you have the wisdom, and now you're ending um, these are, look at how powerful these cards are. These supporting this eight of cups, supporting your free will of moving on are all major arcana so far. Magician, chariot, tower, hermit, death card. This is some very powerful soul path energy here. You are meant to move on from this. This is like one of those soul lessons that you are achieving and moving on from. So kudos to you, Pisces. Congratulations, you know, if this story, if this message resonates with you. What is this chariot, please? What does Pisces need to know about this chariot? The chariot's also Cancerian energy, and we are in can can cancer season right now. What is this chariot, please? What does Pisces need to know about this chariot? You've overcome. For the chariot, we are getting, look at you. Look at you sitting there gently having one one hand on the cup, a beautiful cup. Notice the cup has a lid on it. You're keeping a lid on your emotions and you're looking at things with a knowing energy. And here we have the strength. Remember how we said, and yes, it is the number. Oh, is it? Yes, that's just a mark on the card. It is the number eight. Five, six, seven, eight, in case you don't know Roman numerals. Um, but here we see, look at the power you have, look at the strength, look at the courage, look at the tenacity you have, Pisces. And this is clarifying the chariot. Without you coming through this, you would not be as strong to move forward as confidently, as boldly, and as bravely as you are. You're basically saying deuces be Pisces out. You're you're not dealing with this anymore. You're not you're an eagle and you're not dealing with chickens. That's or pigeons. No offense to chickens or pigeons. I love them both, but it's just saying chickens and and pigeons peck at the ground. Eagles soar and have very acute vision and they swoop into what they want. You get the difference. They're they're like very keen very sharp spirit one card for the overall oops one card for the overall energy of this reading for pisces please 
Okay, we have two more. So the solar plexus chakra is about self-empowerment. And this is what we're seeing is this cycle from where you were to where you are now has occurred in order for you to level up in your self-confidence and your self-empowerment. That's what we were speaking about earlier as well. As you're, and then we have moving on, baby. You Had you not gone through this, you would be less likely to have the strength that is required to move on because you're moving on to something great. I can't wait to see this next card um, in the next two cards after this, but um, you're moving on to something much better than the chicken and pigeon mentality. You're moving on to eagle energy. Shadow. You face the shadow in your life. You're balanced. You've come out of this much more balanced, much more insightful, and much more clear-minded. I feel a number of you have also learned how to see in the dark. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces for this reading. One oracle for Pisces for this reading. Show them what they need to see, please. Show them exactly what they need to see. Thank you. This one too? No, I'm hearing no. All right. The bear in the cedar, leadership. You are the leader of your own life. It, it would please energies around you. It would please other people around you if you continued to let their influence lead you. Their pressure lead you. Their decisions lead you. Their wants lead you. But you're taking control over your own life and leadership and authority over your own life and saying... This is my direction, and this is the direction I'm going. Spirit, one oracle out of this deck for Pisces for this reading. One oracle out of this deck for Pisces for this reading, please. Show Pisces what they need to see. Thank you. Accept what is. The act of acceptance will bring peace. Not everybody's meant for you, Pisces. Conversely, you are not meant for everybody. Remember who you are. Step into your self. Step back into yourself. Remember who you are. Remember what you're meant for. Remember what you're made for. And most of all, remember what you're capable of. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.